Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. This is Lunar Goddess Tarot. I'm coming back today to provide you guys with another divine counterpart reading. So we have moved through the intensity of Lion's Gate on 8-8 last Sunday. We are now well on the other side of this, but it almost feels like to me, the energies are playing out like a Lion's Gate hangover, if you will. There was a ton of lethargy, fatigue, insomnia, as well as lethargy and, and, and fatigue. And so you're tired, but your mind is racing. You're physically tired and you can't sleep. Waking up at odd hours or earlier than usual. Some of you might be doing the opposite, sleeping in later than usual. Needing to rest or have naps throughout the day. Feeling an intense call or pull towards inner union and inner peace and practices like meditation and mindfulness and yoga and really wanting to sort of recalibrate is what I'm feeling. So we are in the process still of integrating all of this new energy, which can take a toll on our physical bodies. So I talked a lot about over on Patreon last night, I posted for the VIP patrons and above. Um, there's different access at different levels. This was specifically a post for the VIP patrons. And it's all about what is currently happening. It's a written post. It's about the divine masculines, what they're going through. It's this process of ascension that they are rising through. And you'll see people in your lives, feminines and masculines, who are starting to wake up. It's a very exciting time to be alive. It's finally happening. People are fed up with what's going on in the world and the oppression and the division, the dis div divisiveness that's going on right now in the world. So people are speaking up and speaking out and your masculines are really in the process of a strong part of their awakening and ascension process. So I talk about what this is like for the feminines, what this means for the feminines, as well as the masculines. And it would be a good idea to take a look at that or just hop on over to Patreon because I do post a lot of written readings over there or just written commentaries, written posts where I'm talking about what's going on. I find written posts to be more informative than videos personally. So I love written posts. I love the written word. I I'm a storyteller by nature. So go check that out support the channel and myself over there. And as well as if you're interested in a coaching program, because I am currently, I've suspended private readings. I will do anyone who's requested a reading through the month of August, you will still receive your reading. After that, I'm taking a hiatus from personal readings. So the best way to receive guidance from me is gonna be to hop on this channel, to support the channel and myself by watching videos, by subscribing, by liking, by sharing the videos, and also considering joining our coaching program. Now, if you've decided that it's not the right time for you, or um, maybe there's other reasons why it's just, it's whatever, it's not the right time, it's not the right season, we'll be offering another coaching program next spring. And in addition, we're gonna be releasing several individual um, informational pieces like pamphlets and brochures and even an ebook. So be on the lookout for those things as you'll be able to purchase them individually. If you want more information on the coaching program, hop on over to my website, lunargoddesstarot.com. It's a brand new website that just launched a few days ago. It'll give you all the information. And then if you want more information or to speak to Kelly or myself, please email us twinflameunioncoaching at gmail.com. And I'm gonna hop right on in guys to the reading here. Oh, just to let you guys know, if you are interested and this is the first time you're hearing about the program, we start on August 19th. So we will be closing out registration on midnight Eastern time, August 18th. So you'll definitely wanna sign up before then. We have monthly payment plans as well as a discount if you pay in full. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to go over, actually, I'm really feeling pulled and compelled to start with Assyrian Star Seed Tarot. So we're gonna start there. Just to let you guys know, I am definitely um, feeling fatigued today, physically feeling pretty exhausted, but I did feel a call to do this reading. I'm also feeling very flushed, very warm. Um, it's warm temperature wise here as it is in many places right now. But um, yeah, definitely feeling the heat from within. Feeling a lot of heart chakra activation, solar plexus and sacral chakra activations, as well as the calling to forgive and, and release the past. And this is coming up um, to move us through the Lionsgate portal, okay? So you're gonna be feeling that call 
or you may be feeling that call to forgive and to really release any resentments, past resentments, past hurts, past heartaches, past losses, etc. Okay, so you'll want to be working through those with a healer like our very own Holly, uh, working with myself um, and Kelly in the program, or if you're a Reiki healer yourself, then you know what to do, but sometimes it's good to have outside healers step in as well. Okay, so healers need healers too. Okay. So let's go ahead and call on Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael, will you please be present for this reading and provide the highest possible direction, the highest guidance, the highest timeline for myself and everyone watching. And please uh, create a blue veil of protection and guidance around this reading, myself and everyone watching. And I call in my ancestors, my guides, my light team, my star family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so overall energy is some swords energy popping out. I feel like this is for the masculine collective, so we'll get some overall energies for the feminine next. Masculines have been very chatty lately because a lot of the feminines are somewhat closed off or very closed off in the physical world and reality. Now, what is happening as a result, guys, of the feminine sort of shutting down to the connection, if you will. And your guides are gonna be with you right now. They're gonna be showing you signs. For instance, I went to get a salad today and it was, I'm not gonna say my counterpart's first name, but it was his first name. And then Point was the name of the plaza. And then it was numbers 777 was the address. And then I parked at the parking meter and it was 71711. And I was like, oh my gosh. So 717, 11, 777, and my counterpart's name. And then there was another variation of my counterpart's name on a truck as I drove home. So we're being asked right now to learn how to be compassionately distanced or compassionately detached and still hold space. And this is where the challenge is lying for the divine feminines. And as you see here, the masculines, four of swords, 10 of swords, okay? So they're at the end of a very painful cycle. They're resting, they're weary, and they're battle-worn at this time. I do feel like finally the Masculine Collective has had this stark epiphany and realization of how much he's taken the feminine or the journey or this connection for granted. And this is in particular in regards to the Masculines who have had karmic partners or who have just in some way discounted the connection um, or discounted something the feminine has said or laughed at the idea of twin flames or soulmates or even you know the idea of a collective of being part of a masculine collective so it's where the ego was in control the ego they've really had a massive ego breakdown breakthrough breakaway and death okay this is a definite death energy that i'm feeling here with the ten of swords um four of swords always speaks to me of relaxation and restoration of the soul at the soul level um, the swords as we know is the air element it's the mind it's mental mastery over a situation but this is how the masculine is gaining this so if you guys are having questions if you're going to this reading you're saying is my masculine dating someone is my masculine entertaining the idea of dating someone they're not they're actually sitting alone maybe for the first time in their lives um, for the masculines, this is important to state, for the masculines who lost their jobs last year, as many did, or got demoted in some way because of what was going on at world events, that's how I refer to what's going on, for the sake of, right, just world events, okay, there's so much more to say about that. Now, for the masculines who um, were affected by that um, with their career, okay? They had to make lateral career moves or maybe even downward career moves. Very few of them were making upward career moves, by the way. And then they got another job that maybe was exactly the same as the one they had. And they're telling themselves, lying to themselves, saying, I'm so happy, I'm making such a difference. They're out of alignment. And wherever they are out of alignment and this goes for you feminine as well but a lot of you have already been through this in terms of your work world and if not you're moving through it right now you're learning those lessons if you're out of alignment your soul is going to cry out and want to scream and release itself from the imprisonment that is this job this career this place that you're spending the majority of your time so the masculines are you know a lot of them are getting fired or demoted again or in some way they are just not aligning with 
um, the guidelines at work, they're not aligning with the rules or regulations, they're not aligning with the people around them anymore. And this is not just at work, this is in friends and family, um, Spirit is telling me right now, so every aspect of their life. They have told a lot of people about this connection finally because they're free to do so. They freed themselves from those karmic situations or connections. They told people, they've told the ex-partners about you. And, and one of the reasons for doing this was because they knew that it needed to be, they needed to be honest. They needed to be in their integrity with themselves and with everyone around them. So people know about you and now they're trying to get back into balance. And if you see this, it's like these three swords or orbs, if you will, are perfectly aligned. This one looks a little off center. So this is that root chakra. This is that need. So the higher chakras are very in line and in tune right now, very open with the masculines. They're flowing beautifully. It's those lower chakras that seem to be out of whack for both twins right now. So your inner masculine will be feeling this sort of root chakra, um, just sort of like fluctuation. A lot of feminines and masculines are on the move right now. I'm not talking about the running chasing stage. I'm talking about moving houses, moving homes, um, gaining financial independence. So the feminines will be gaining financial independence from maybe karmic partners or from um, some of you from parents or from uh, roommates or, or exes or whatever it might be. Just gaining financial independence, wanting to move into your own place alone, wanting to live solo for the first time, wanting to um, buy a house or, or you know rent a home that you can buy in the future. So really thinking about the future and settling down and the masculines are have freed themselves from those karmic situations and are now paying the financial consequences, the karmic consequences of the actions of being with that said person who may be trying to take them for all they're worth. And so the masculines are being stripped bare and stripped down even more so. The masculines, it has to happen in stages for the masculines. It can't happen all at once because the masculines would be overwhelmed. They would not be able to handle it. The feminines have a better grasp on the, the spiritual aspect of this connection and this journey, whereas the masculines have mastery over the physical world. Okay, so that's why things are happening slower for the feminine in the physical world and things happen slower for the masculine in the spiritual realm of development. So the masculine is really trying to get balanced here and he has to do this alone. So what's beautiful masculine is you're taking the time to really do this alone. You're not trying to jump into another relationship or connection or rely on somebody or something outside of yourself anymore. You're wanting to really calm and soothe your own soul. Sorry, I had to get a drink. That was a lot of talking, 12 minutes worth, guys. Um, and so, and my throat chakra is raspy again. So part of that is allergies in the physical world. And part of that is just major ascension going on in my higher chakras. Um, so the, the masculines here, the 10 of swords, um, what a beautiful representation of, of the death energy, right? Of, of a season or a chapter ending for the masculines. Um, what's happening here is his thoughts in the past overwhelmed him, overtook him, overran him, and created all these possible scenarios, most of which never play out, right? We, we create the worst possible scenarios, create self-fulfilling prophecies in our romantic connections and in our lives. And it's sort of like the masculine's like, you know what? What if I just laid down my swords? What if I stopped fighting myself and this connection and my counterpart? And he's starting to finally look into, really examine this connection on a much deeper level, examining what you've said to him, examining what he's thought, examining the conversations you've had. He sees you as this ethereal being, this apps, like, is she real? Is he real? Like, they're like, what? It's hard for them to imagine somebody so beautiful internally and externally somebody so spiritual, so kind, so compassionate, so unconditionally accepting and loving of them because they've never experienced that in their lives. He's in a state of total surrender, guys. And this is where he starts anew. This is like a very fresh energy. I know this could seem, some readers could interpret this in a very negative way, but this is in this particular deck, especially look at the, look at the beauty of these calmness peacefulness, serenity. Um, serenity now is what I'm hearing. He's in his bathrobe. So some of these masculines will be going on a retreat or um, especially if they're getting sober, okay, as some sort of a retreat, they may choose to do a more spiritual journey versus something like AA. Um, they're also 
or like a traditional rehab. I see them going to like on a retreat in the mountains, somewhere where they can get fresh air this fall. And I see them just totally surrendering and um, asking for help from others, which is probably very new for the masculines. Um, There's a sense of closure for sure here in these cards together where the masculine is closing out so much. Yeah, it's like he realizes, um, guys, he's like realizing there's nowhere left for me to go. Like I, I am left with myself. My feminine is nowhere to be found in this now moment. Feminine's off focusing on her pentacles and on her responsibilities and duties, obligations, on her career, on her moves and her um, her workspace and how she how she is expanding. Right? She's just she's very expansive. The masculine's in a, an expansive state as well, but just in different ways. So it's like there's nowhere left for him to go. He has to turn inwards. There is a real liberating energy here, though, guys. Even if this is like, yeah, it's a struggle energy, there's a liberation energy here. So let's ask Spirit, what comes next? What comes next for this masculine? What comes next for this masculine? Hmm. <laughs> Wow, forgiveness, self-forgiveness, um, redemption in his own eyes, okay? Redeeming himself, uh, making up for lost time is what I'm hearing also for all the time that quote unquote has been wasted. Time is never wasted, by the way. This is just, I'm relaying their thoughts. I'm channeling the masculine's thoughts. I'm making up for lost time, um, for time that I wasted. Um, seeing that there is a higher version of himself that he can birth and bring to life in the physical. The masculines really do have a lot of love that they wish to share and give. It's just, it's been hammered down over time, over lifetimes. And it's been taken for granted by other partners and other people in their lives, especially their vulnerability. Um, it just wasn't respected. You know, we accept the love we think we deserve. So if we don't think we deserve unconditional love, then we seek out partners who treat us poorly. If you're a divine feminine watching, I would urge you to think about your past relationships and how those relationships played out and what you allowed, the type of person that you were attracted to for a time there was a time where I was only attracted to bad boys or I was only attracted to guys who treated me like crap, who wouldn't commit, who were completely um, unreliable. They were unconventional. They were musicians. I dated a few musicians. They're so romantic, but they were terrible, terrible partners, right? Terrible at following through and actually giving me what I needed. So on paper, it might have been beautiful, right? Or in the bedroom, it was, you know, passionate. But there was no substance. And so I accepted those things for years because it's what I thought I deserved. So when you start to love yourself, you're no longer attracted to those people. When I think about those people now, I send them love and I wish them well, but I know that we're not on the same level. It's not that I'm above them. I just know that what they have to offer is not what I need. And so if they were, there's one in particular I was hung up on for like five years um, soulmate, soulmate from past lives, many, many past lives of this person. I would absolutely be his friend. Absolutely. But romantic partner, I wouldn't go there. There, there just would be, there would be nothing there anymore because I have leveled up so much. I have changed. I have grown into self-love, self-acceptance, self-adoration that I could, and self-respect that I can no longer, it would be out of alignment for me to try again with somebody like him or with him. So I think a lot of you are feeling that, and that's what the masculines are starting to realize now is these past partners, including recent ones, um, they're falling out of alignment with these people. And when you do, you're almost 
repelled by that person or that person like they repel you. you you can't even be attracted to them if you wanted to be feminines six of wands nine of wands victory don't give up keep going keep yeah so it's interesting the masculines are in the air energy the feminines are in the passionate fiery energy they you guys are in the energy of leo aries sagittarius being that we are in leo season i'm not surprised and look at this this is all about so fascinating as the masculine goes to this regenerative process this death process this rebirth process um, many shifts many fluctuations and changes um, daily some multiple times a day the feminine is over here being asked to come back to a place where she believes that union is possible this is for a specific group of you who have decided that union is no longer a possibility who have decided that maybe union just isn't in the cards for me and you're just sort of um you've st even started to close off to the idea of union. I've seen it in a lot of comments on social media recently. Um, I don't need him or, you know, it was a false twin flame, et cetera. There's no such thing as a false twin flame. There's karmic experiences and situations and lessons, but there is not a false twin flame. That person was a soulmate of some kind. It was a teacher in a lesson. So, um, when you experience like narcissistic abuse or something like that, it's, it's, a, it's a lesson. It's a karmic lesson. It's not a false twin. There is only one true twin and that's all there is. That's the truth. And the truth is, is that only love is real and love prevails in the end regardless. So feminine, you're being asked to come back to love. And I know some of you are probably shaking your heads. Like I am so vehemently against union at this point. I'm so against even contact or communication with my twin but don't you feel when you are in this place of despising your twin or being angry at your twin don't you feel out of alignment doesn't it affect you physically in the physical world I want you to ask yourself how that's affecting you and how you can initiate forgiveness here there's a lot of forgiveness because the masculine has a judgment card this tells me that the feminine counterpart the feminine twin needs to work on forgiveness towards the masculine he's asking for forgiveness here he's working on forgiving himself but he needs you to forgive him as well you guys are one soul so if you're mad at your masculine like i don't need him okay fine but how is that making you feel out of alignment there's a difference between cool calm detachment still holding space and then completely eliminating the idea that union is possible if you're able to do that and really move on quote unquote you're likely not in a true twin flame connection but a soulmate connection and that's okay there's no these are just labels there's no right or wrong better or worse but if you are in a true twin flame connection this person is you this is your soul you can't move on from your own soul there is no moving on there is no even letting them go there's just acceptance that we are one okay so feminines let's get some clarity here this is a deep reading <laughs> This is a very deep reading. Can we get some clarity on feminine's actions? Feminine's actions here. Wow, you guys both have the Ten of Swords. Seven of Wands. Yeah, you're keeping to yourself a little bit. You're not letting other people's opinions or... Yeah, just ideas affect you. Um, solar plexus energy. Stay in your power here. Um, you're sort of in your own protective bubble right now, just not letting anything outside of you affect you. But this could be, in a sense, to your detriment because you might be closing off possibilities, experiences, or even your twin or your connection. So be mindful of that. I may actually clarify that as well. And we have the magician coming in to let you know that you're capable of 
creating and manifesting everything or anything you desire and that you're a powerful being, you're a powerful manifester. So be mindful of what it is that you're thinking, what it is that you're bringing into existence and realization. You're an infinite being of light here for a short time experiencing this physical realm. So what is it that you wish to create? Your, your gifts are coming online, especially those of relating to the upper chakras more and more profoundly. A lot of creativity is coming in for the feminines now. Creativity and as to how union will show up or how it will represent itself. But there's just so much potential and magic right now. Um, whatever your desires are, light that spark, okay? Light that spark and, and, and believe that it's possible. There are definitely some challenges with the Seven of Wands. And of course, like I said, we have the Ten of Swords that's come up for both counterparts. So some challenges are coming up right now. Ground yourself, feminine. Um, remove yourself from situations or conversations or people that are not um, supportive of your mission, your calling, your connection, your union. And... I feel like there are some, I'm just going to say this and then leave it here. I feel like there are some energies that are trying to, at this time, especially with the feminine energy, the, this is why meditation would be very, very important for both twins right now. They're trying to create some sort of issue or static within the connection. So and seven of wands can indicate like a hater energy. So just be mindful of that. And guys, again, the Ten of Swords for both of you. When both of you are receiving this, we know that there's something else that's going to emerge. There's a major ending for both of you that is going to create a new beginning. There's, there's so many possible avenues right now that you can move into. Because there's a six and then, you know, there's this three energy here, six and nine. Um... I feel, I just feel like six weeks, six months is so important. Six keeps coming up. So do sevens actually. And fours, um, in my experience, and I know a lot of you have mentioned fours and ones, one, 11, 11, 11. Nines, of course, indicating endings. Sevens indicate, uh, I saw a lot of sevens today, as I stated. Um, it's talking about knowing that there's a beautiful balance that's being struck between the physical and the metaphysical worlds. Okay, so the 5D, the 3D, as we sometimes refer to it. And there's a balance being struck. There's just this energy that victory is possible. The divine is saying, hello, victory is still possible. You stand your ground, divine feminine. Don't back down because of the haters. Don't back down because it hasn't happened yet. Do you know how many times like Michael Jordan Okay, just for an example, Kobe Bryant, any, any of the greats, if they had backed down, they wouldn't be where they are today. The singers, the actors, they wouldn't be where they are today if they had just given up. Don't give up. This is about the feminine being determined, resilient. You're a resilient being. This is the final push. Spirit's like, this is the final push towards union. You have to believe that this is possible. You have to believe the universe is cheering you on. The universe is asking you to step into leadership, step into this mode of victory that you are worthy of being seen. This connection has a beautiful spark. It's worthy of coming to fruition. So spirit, tell me more about the union energy. Actually, I'm going to just, I want to switch decks here. There's a lot of heaviness in the collective, guys. Um, you know, as readers, it affects us more than you know. This is why I'm taking a break from personal readings. One of the reasons. Um, others is I'm going to be very dedicated to the six-month coaching program and giving my all to everyone in that program. And I just need a break from... Collective readings are definitely a lot easier for me to sort of shed. But I did four readings the other day, three personal and one for the channel, and I... I'm still recovering. That was two days ago. So please understand when the reader says I need extra time. It's not that they're being lazy or that they don't want to do your reading or deliver it on time. 
but this is this is not like it's not like a marketing project this is it takes we tap into your energies and your twins energies and we just need time in order for us to replenish our inner resources and our energy so please just be understanding whether it's myself or other readers i speak on behalf of other readers i think okay yes yeah, so union energy guys endless possibilities infinite potential you are a star child you're a child of the cosmos you're a child of god a child of creation creation energy this keeps on coming up over and over this is the masculines waking up just continuing waking up so fast this is people in the world waking up i had a friend come to me today blew my mind fully awake fully awake she's an er nurse too and she's fully awake to what's going on in the world and the truth and she's standing up against it and she's like they're making me feel like a second class citizen at work um i'm not going to go into detail because this is youtube but yeah there's look guys people are waking up there are armies of us waking up all over the world we're not going to stand for our human rights being defiled and taken away and stripped from us and so the masculines are starting to realize that this is just this is a pivotal point in earth's ascension process in history and that they're a part of this and that they're meant to speak up and speak out and if the people in their life don't like it too bad whereas before they would have been so concerned about what people thought you have given them that strength feminine just for them to say no more no more this is my life these are my choices this is my body this is my this is my heart divine matrix there's the four four <laughs> so yeah if you can dream it, you can create it. It's a divine matrix. It's a matrix of our own creation. Notice your thoughts. Notice where they're leading you. Notice your, your words. Your words are so powerful. And guys, especially at this time, because our hearts are so open, we are so unified and connected, even though it seems very decisive in the 3D. If there's a stranger who you feel needs a hug or some words of love or reassurance, please don't hesitate to give them that feel it guys you're if you're an empath you're going to be more empathic than ever right now it can be very overwhelming this is why a lot of us feel drained and exhausted right now protect your energies but then give them your heart give them a piece of your heart speak what's on your heart okay don't hold back people people need people right now both twins are really in this place of dissociating from the toxic matrix and connecting to this divine matrix this divine fabric of life and birds of a feather both of you remember this is union energies both of you are discovering new friends at this time um, friends that are awakening friends that are helping you some friends are further ahead on the journey some friends are right where you are and some friends are just doing a little catch up here okay masculines absolutely this is so important that the masculines are really starting to connect with like-minded people and people who are going to absolutely assist them in moving in the right direction in terms of well really everything <laughs> their belief system their actions their life i see i just keep on seeing they just showed me this vision which is why i paused there of a masculine on like this island this caribbean island or this this beautiful quiet island he's by himself so this could be the vacation he's taking this could absolutely be that vacation he's taking to really you know the man in the robe here getting a massage and just being taken care of letting himself accept love in that way without it having to be sexual right from from a, a woman or or from a man and the masculines are Masculines are replenishing their vitality. They're going to come back. If, if you last you saw your masculine and he or she was really just exhausted and completely, if they'd lost weight, if they weren't eating properly, they weren't taking care of themselves, they're going to come back in, in a completely different way. And you're going to see this side of them that is absolutely not the side of them but you're going to see them look a lot more healthy 
the next time that you see them. You're going to see them really starting to practice that self-care that you've been teaching them for so long. You've been showing them how to do, why you're doing it, how to do it. So let's get it. Let's get some. I just feel a very um, like a subdued energy when I when I see this vision of this masculine just really going within and no drinking, right? No, whatever the addictions were, no drinking, no drugs, no gambling, whatever it was, no work, just totally disconnecting from work, disconnecting from emails, maybe even disconnecting from their phone during this time. It's like they're going offline, they're going off grid to get back online within themselves. It's a necessary part of the process. All right, so feminine energy. Look at that, and the cards literally jump and do dream time. A lot of your dreams are, <coughs> wow, throat chakra. <coughs> wow it's even moving the cards okay uh wow you're gonna stay please this is here i came out of nowhere this happens only when i do readings by the way your dreams are listen to your dreams listen to the the words in the dreams the visions in the dreams listen to the messages in your dreams um <clears throat> clouds shape-shifting yeah you're going to start to see what you're dreaming about happen in reality right in front of your eyes clouds shape-shifting this to me speaks of this idea that the feminine can be whomever whatever she needs to be for different circumstances although more and more the feminine is choosing to just be herself in every circumstance where it's just too exhausting for her to pretend to be something or somebody she's not she's like oh either people will, will accept this or they'll accept me or they won't it's no longer my problem i'm no longer concerned about that um you know take it or leave it and a very um a very confident energy from the feminine energy within the masculines as well. The feminines, you might be called to just shape shift your physical appearance at this time. <clears throat> and just create changes in your, your physical world. I see this also with, because um, a lot of feminines are moving homes right now. This could also just be within your your personal space, like your workspace at home or your bedroom or your kitchen, your living room, just changing things up, your car. Um, maybe not even getting a new car, just trading out your car, wanting to trade out. Um, I recently purchased a lot of clothes and I hate shopping. <laughs> Little tidbit about me, I hate shopping. Um, don't like it anymore. It's a pain in the ass. It's exhausting. I get hungry. I get hangry. I throw a temper tantrum. I just want a personal shopper I'm manifesting that, by the way. But when I do, there's a few places I like to go. I like to spend money. I like to buy nice clothes. And when I do, I feel really good. And so I've recently purchased some shoes and some clothes. I'm like, wow, I feel really good, right? And I feel, I feel decadent. I feel mature. I feel sophisticated. <clears throat> so it, whatever you're called to do at this time in order to make yourself feel better, go ahead and do it. Feminine. Masculines. What about the masculine energy? <clears throat> Throat chakra is still very catchy, guys. <clears throat> Somebody needs to speak their truth. <clears throat> is it you? <clears throat> Listening to their instincts. This is not the first time in the past several weeks or months that I've seen this card for the masculines. It's coming up over and over again. Instinct, intuition, <clears throat> trusting themselves above anything else. And this Four of Swords energy, where they're kind of hermiting, if you will, going within, is allowing them to tap, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> is allowing them to tap into their innermost being to get the answers that they seek. They're not seeking the answers. They don't care what people think anymore on the outside. They know what their truth is. <clears throat> unity energy, please. Unity energy. There's movement. 
and the connections, guys, with this Lion's Gate, tremendous movement, actually. Whether you see it or not, I see this as <clears throat> not only the dawning of a new day, but also when a river flows downstream, it flows very beautifully. And I'm actually seeing this as like a, they're giving me the image of white water rafting, probably because I just did that. <clears throat> but also the water moving, moving you along, you know, rapidly, but, but no resistance, just enjoying the process, a great deal of fun and joy in this process. And then volcano. So <clears throat> the energy of water and fire here, we, we see this dual energy of water and fire a lot in twin flame readings, you know, the sun and the moon, the earth and the sky, <clears throat> night and day, dark and light, feminine and masculine, yin and yang, the duality nature, that the twins are here to completely crush and <clears throat> to recreate, if you will. So there is so much passion that wants, this is like the sexual tension, the passion, but the love, more than that, the sexual tension is being replaced by the love. There's so much love that wants to be released, that wants to be communicated <clears throat> to from the masculine to the feminine, from the feminine to the masculine. So there's movement coming into these connections um, this could come rather quickly, rather rapidly. This could be a very, oh my gosh, I've never seen the faces <clears throat> in this card before, but I see the caress, the kiss here. Yeah, a lot of guys, there's some love making about chicka wow wow in the future for some of you, but it's going to be from a place of love, from a place of commitment. Um, things are moving along. We have to let go of the past, okay? <clears throat> How can the feminine assist in moving things along here? How can the feminine assist in moving things along? <clears throat> so you've gotten two of cups twice. You've got it come back to a place where you believe that union is possible you believe in the victory of your union you believe that your masculine is capable of changing and shifting and growing you believe that he's doing the work where you don't believe it's the ego where you don't believe that you're ahead of him or like i'm doing so much work i see it so much in the comments i'm guilty of it at times why isn't he doing more i've done so much i've grown so much i've taken this course i've done this and i meditate what okay you, you don't know what your masculine's journey is like until you ask them it's not any easier than yours sometimes it's even harder okay the masculines are like in a crash course of ascension right now feminines you've been doing this for years decades some of you <clears throat> your masculine is learning about this in a matter of a few months and years give them a break <clears throat> you've got to give more right now feminine You've got to give more to the connection. You've got to be more open. You've got to open your heart. You've got to, you've got to give the love. If you've shut off the avenues of love, then there is no movement in the 5D or the 3D. And then you wonder. I see it all the time. I, I, I'm just, whenever he's ready, he'll come through. He is you. So if he's not ready, you're not ready. Okay? We have to bring it back to ourselves. Much more to come on this in the six month coaching program. We go really deep into how this works, the mirror, um, the mirror of the twin flames, also why it's essential that we understand that we are one soul, that we are not, we're not on different teams, we're on the same team, how you can reach inner union, how you can overcome longing and the runner chaser dynamic, why that doesn't have to exist, that there are no actual stages in the twin flame connection we have to get out of this idea of duality and we have to get into this place of this is the work for me to do this this is a reading for me and my inner masculine and my inner feminine so and i just saw 44 on the time of course so i'm going to stop here my loves i'm sending you guys lots of love again if you want more information about patreon or the course or my amazon wish list um i have card decks on their candles etc stuff for my kitties of course you can reach all of that information in the description box below each video and if you see the website and you're like okay i want to sign up but i want more information go ahead and just reach out to us at twin flame union coaching at gmail.com kelly will respond she's been answering the majority of the emails there 
Take good care, guys. We'll see you soon. And for those of you in the program, we're going to see you so soon. Stay tuned, guys. Take care.